In this video, I'm going to show you how to define colors in CSS using color names, hexadecimal, and RGB. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. And if it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials. And with that out of the way, let's get into this tutorial and learn how to define colors in CSS. I'll see you there. So the first three are all red, the second three are all blue, the third three are all green, and they are defined in different ways. So the very first one I have written right in, right above or on top of the background, how those are defined. So the first one in each set is defined by the name of the color. The second one is de defined by the RGB value and the third one is defined by the hex code. And you can choose any one of those, whichever one that you want to do. The, the color name is probably the easiest, but it's also the most limiting. So there are about 140 color names you can choose from, like red, blue, green, yellow, orange, black, white, ivory, gold. You get the idea. You just type in the name of the color, and if that is a valid color name, it makes the element that color. For your RBG, or sorry, RGB and hex code, there are way, way more options. And so you can define shades of red, where, where for the for the color names, you might be able to do light red, dark red, and red. For the RGB values or hex code, you might be able to do 50 or 100 different shades of red. So there's much more color flexibility. And if you need color flexibility, stick with RGB or hex. And to find the RGB or hex values of colors, I recommend you check out online color palettes. Or if you use a imaging software like Photoshop, they're in the color palette there. You can easily find the RGB and the hex values for colors. And to define these colors on a web page, for all of these, I have a background color declaration set in line with a heading. So you can define colors via background color declaration. You can define, define the text color via a color declaration. So on the blue ones, we have white text instead of black, so it's easier to read. And what you'll notice down at the bottom is our green isn't quite right. So this might be a light green. See if that makes it better. No, there is no light green. So this is the only one where the, the name of the color isn't quite the same as the RGB and hex code in this example. There might be others where they're not quite the same, but red, is, you can clearly see red is the same as the RGB for red and the hex for red, same with blue, but then green is different. And that's something else you have to watch out for because there are differences in that regard, and even there are differences in a, how a browser renders a color. So this RGB code might be light green in one browser, and it might be a different shade of green in another browser. And that's just something you have to deal with online. That's, there's a lot of, lot of stuff that, that works that way. But the advantage of using RGB, it has one big advantage over the other color types, just going to show it right now by uncommenting this section down here. Refresh this page. So here we have two colored boxes. One is reddish, pinkish, and one's blue. With RGB, we can define a transparency value so you can see right through elements and see what's beneath them. That's something you can't do with color names or with the hex code. So for the RGB, I'm just going to add an A at the end. A stands for alpha, which is kind of a, a graphics, um, graphics program and tech term for transparency. And we add the A, then we have to add another value at the end. And this value needs to, between, needs to be between 0 and 1. Add that in, refresh the page, and we can see now that our blue box is transparent. And it's 50% transparent. So the higher this value, the closer to opaque it is. So the higher we go, the darker it gets. And the lighter we go, the lighter it gets. And so that's the big advantage of using RGBs over hex and name, name colors. However, you can define transparency as well uh, as a separate declaration. But usually the fewer declarations you use, the cleaner your code is, the easier it is to read. 
and the less load time a page will take. And that's how easy it is to define colors in CSS using color names, hexadecimal, and RGB. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials. And check out these videos that popped up on the right hand side for more awesome coding tutorials. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.